What a transition. Hello, beautiful people, and welcome. Today, I'm going to be transforming myself into the aftermarket character of Zoe Kravitz as Catwoman, and I'm really excited. This is the photo inspiration. Oof, 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 oof. I literally cut my hair to look like Zoe Kravitz in that photo, just so you know. I'm dedicated. Anyway, I've already done this look before. I've posted it on my Instagram reels. If you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. I did a very rushed kind of basic look there. So I really wanted to take my time with it this time and really go into depth and detail and really try to get the look spot on. Let's get started. I did my moisturizer, my lip balm, and my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. So we're ready to go. Starting off, I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter Foundation as my base. I've had a couple people say like, why do you only use it? Why do you use it as a foundation? It should be like a base or a skin tint. And my answer to that is I do not like very heavy foundations. I like medium, medium, medium to low coverage foundation because I don't like my foundation to look cakey. I want to look as natural as I can. With this look, it requires a little bit more of a polished and less dewy, but more matte kind of face look. A little bit, just a little bit. I'm gonna take the Pro Foundation Sephora brush in the number 64. This is a great little blender. I'm gonna blend this all out. So I think that's all that I'm gonna do. You see how beautiful and dewy that is? It's so beautiful. I already feel really good and confident just with that one layer. Perfect. But for the purposes of trying to transform myself, I am going to use the Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation. Um, I am in the color 2R28. This is a new foundation from Makeup Forever and um, I'm still trying to figure out if I really like it or not. So I'm just gonna take one pump, just one pump. Did I tell you which color I was in Charlotte Tilbury? If I didn't tell you what color I was, I'm 5.5. I'm gonna take that off my hand and I'm gonna actually just use my fingers. I'm gonna pack this on my chin, a little bit underneath the eye for some extra coverage. And then over here where I had some issues with my skin. So almost using it like a concealer. Then I'm gonna take a damp beauty blender and pack this in. It's just gonna give me added coverage for this makeup look and kind of make those areas a little bit more matte, if you will, N not as dewy. See the difference? This is a really good base. I wanna set it because there's a lot going on with this makeup look. So I'm just gonna set my foundation. I'm gonna use the Morph, Morphe uh, Continuous Setting Mist. So that's good. Now we're gonna go to brows. I'm just gonna snap to do them because that's a long process. And if you wanna know the process, I'll link a video. So let's go. Whee, I did it. Now I'm going to apply concealer. Uh, this is one mistake that I did when I made the Instagram reel when I recreated this look. So I didn't put enough concealer um, on my face. I'm gonna change that this time and actually apply my concealer first instead of after my eye makeup. Um, and we're gonna start out with the NARS concealer in the color Ginger. I think this is the NARS newest um, concealer. I got a sample of it because I wanted to try some new concealers out. So I like it so far. It's very light. If you're worried about creasing, this is a help. It makes it really difficult for you to crease because it's such a lightweight concealer. So let's put this on. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do all over because the last time I only put it in the corner and up there like I usually do and that didn't look well because with the glitter coming down you'll see just do this I'm gonna go ahead and bring it up actually because we need to have that lifted look some on the chin up over here and I'm also going to take my flat shader brush. To finish out the eyebrow look, I'm going to go ahead and put that concealer underneath the eyebrow. I love doing that to finish out my eyebrow look. Really helps you have a really nice and beautiful clean line. I'm going to now take the Sephora 57 brush. This is a blending brush. 
uh, concealer brush actually, specifically for concealer. I like this brush so far. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of in a dabbing motion, work that concealer in instead of a blending motion. Same thing on the eye, kind of like a dabbing. Right, take that up here. And now you can really brush underneath the eye to get that blended out. Now to set everything, I'm gonna take that beauty blender that I was using and just kind of pack it in. Now we're just gonna go straight into the eye look. She has a very beautiful smoky eye and this is actually really easy to recreate. It truly is the easiest thing. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take the Revolution Makeup Revolution London Reloaded palette in the color Velvet Rose. It's just a nice palette. I actually got this from Target um, and it has the best black color right here and a lot of other natural like tones. This is such a good palette to have on hand and I use it all the time. I'm gonna take this MAC 165S brush. It's a flat little shader brush situation and we're gonna take that black color and we're just gonna go for it. A lot of times you just have to go for it with these makeup looks and pray for the best. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna take that side that I put the makeup on and I'm going to go on the outer, is that the outer corner? Right here, okay? Uh huh. It seems crazy, but just do that. We're just gonna pack this on. And I don't wanna create a wing, I just kind of wanna go with my natural eye shape. And you kind of work with your natural eye shape as well. But I'm gonna go all the way to the crease of my eye. And that's where I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna take some more and I'm gonna also go right in the corner of my eye. Pack that in there as thick as you can possibly make it. It looks weird right now, but I'm telling you, this is how you do it. All right. So this is kind of recreating the look that she has going on in that picture. I'm gonna take my blending brush. This is my favorite blending brush. It's a 224 blending brush. This is what it looks like, very fluffy. We're gonna start blending this out in circular motions and don't be afraid to get into the crease like I just did. So I'm just blending this out and this is how you get a really pretty smoky eye. I'm going to take a little bit of that black shadow and finish it on top of my crease but just be really mindful of that small part. Keep blending until you get a really nice smoked out look. And the best way that you can possibly bl blend is just in small circular motions. There you go. I'm gonna go ahead and do that same thing on this eye, but a little faster. This feels less like a cat and more like a bat. I don't know. It does. What's nice about smoky eyes is that it doesn't have to be precise. And that's what I love about this particular look because it can be as messy as you want it to be. Now I'm actually going to focus on the bottom part of my eye. And we're just gonna take the residual that was on this little shader brush. And I'm going to line, not line, but like kind of work the eye and give myself a smoked out under eye. I'm going to line my waterline with the L'Oreal eyeliner. Oh no, that's in French. Oh man, this is so old. It's a pencil eyeliner from L'Oreal and I'm gonna go ahead and line my waterline. I think in the video I use brown, not black, but I'm using black this time because that is most true to the look. You need to have that waterline black for sure. Now this is the really fun part. Um, I'm going to use the Stilla Glitter and Glow eyeshadow in Kitten Karma. Oh, that's so cute! I'm a cat and I'm using Kitten Karma. Oh my gosh, I just realized that, okay. The less you use of this, the better, only because it is such a pain to remove. Like, this, this is glitter, it's glitter. 
It's a glitter eyeshadow and it's not a cream base, it's a liquid base. It's really difficult to remove. Um, cream base glitters are a lot easier in my opinion to remove because they kind of come off all together. This kind of just spreads. So I try to use this sparingly, um, but if you're looking for a look like this, like a, like a really pretty glitter shadow, this is it. So I'm going to do exactly what it looks like in the picture to me, and I'm going to apply this glitter up on the middle of my eye in a dabbing motion like that. It doesn't have to be, like I said, precise. This is not clean lines. At least that's not what it looks like in the picture of her. So we're kind of just, we can be a little messy with it. That's intense. Now it's time to put the glitter underneath the eye for that effect. It almost looks like, you know, you're crying. Just gonna take it just like that, dab it out. And in the picture, I noticed that she also has this shiny glitter-ish look in the corner. I do not want to put this stuff in the corner of my eyes because it terrifies me. I've suffered two corneal abrasions in the past year and a half from using glitter makeup. So we're not doing that. I'm actually just gonna take that same palette that I used and I'm going to use this little shimmery color here and I'm going to put that inside the creases of my eyes with this Urban Decay brush. We're gonna use the small end. It looks like a little tiny mini blending brush, but that's what we're gonna use. Same effect, you see? Same effect, just safer. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and apply lashes. These are the Ardell Wispy lashes that I'm gonna just pop on really quick. So those lashes are on. I really feel like it gives me that winged out effect like she has on her face in that picture. We're almost done. Put some mascara on. I'm using, of course, L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. I'm definitely emphasizing those bottom lashes because we have so much weight on top with the makeup. So we need to make sure that the bottom lashes are nice and exaggerated to balance out the eye look. Why does this feel like this is falling off? Don't die on me. Miss Zoe has the most beautiful facial bone structure ever. I think we all can agree on that. So we're gonna try to recreate her bone structure. I told you this is aftermarket. Laguna Bronzer by NARS. I'm gonna do the old fashioned kissy face. I'm gonna pinch the brush just a little bit. To get a very sharp line. Don't worry, we'll blend that out. Then we're gonna take contour on the jawbone. Cause her jawbone is snatched, like it's snatched. There we go. It's all about illusion. Look at that. You see when you contour what it can do to you? It's crazy. I'll take some of that bronzer and pop that on my temples so we can kind of match everything. We're gonna take this brush from Outlash London and it is an angled uh, flat brush. Really good for nose contour. There we go. And I'm gonna give myself a button effect. I just, I think that that looks good on my nose. It's not really how her nose looks, but I like that for my nose. And I'm also going to take that same brush and we're going to darken the bottom of my lip. You see that? To make it appear larger than it is. And get into my Cupid's bow. Now we really look like a cat. We're gonna take that 57 blending brush, just blend it out just slightly. I still want the effect, but not so intense. Then we're gonna take the e.l.f. stipple brush. This is a small stipple brush from e.l.f. It's amazing, I love this brush. 
we're gonna go ahead and blend out the nose so we don't have any sharp lines. We're gonna blend out this contour on the cheek area with my Pro Foundation brush from Sephora, the 64 brush that I used before. So there we've got a nice blended out look. Now we have to go on to the lips. I'm gonna use this really old lip pencil from Milani and it is in the color, oh, <laughs> please show me the color. M-O-C, it has to be Mocha. Cause in the picture she has, like you can definitely see she has lip liner on. I'm going to pretty much ignore my Cupid's bow right here and just go over it like that and round it out. Probably the best way to do that, yep. For me, when it comes to lip liner, I feel like the best way to not make it look so crazy is by taking the lip liner out to your lip and blending it. I'm gonna put on a MAC lipstick in the color Verve. Now I'm actually gonna do blush um, to finish off the look. I'm gonna use the Merit blush in Beverly Hills. It's a cream blush to kind of still play with that dewy look that she has in the photo. I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics 125 brush to blend that out. That's the makeup look. I'm gonna spray my face with a more setting mist. The hair, we gotta style this hair. Fortunately, my hair is cut. So that makes it easy. I'm just gonna take a small brush. We're gonna brush the hairs forward because she has a side bang. Nothing fancy, nothing crazy. We're just gonna put it to the side. I'm going to secure this with my bobby pin and bring the hair over it and kind of pull it out. Look at that, there you have it. Zoe Kravitz as Catwoman. What do you think? I am really excited with how it turned out. Um, my lashes are kind of falling off a little bit, but that's okay. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I would have never tried out this look ever if I hadn't seen a picture like this. Like I would have never even thought of it. So I'm really happy that I was able to imitate art in this video and bring it to you. Well, that is all that I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you like to see me do more recreations of different makeup looks, let me know in the comment section below. I had a really good time doing this. This is fun. Thank you guys so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.